Letter to my children. Dear children, I am your dad, the father of all five of you pale creatures. Given how attractive and fertile your mother is, there may be more of you by the time you listen to this book. If you are listening to this, I am probably dead. I would assume this because I can honestly foresee no other situation where you'd be interested in anything I've done. Right now, you are actually more interested in preventing me from doing things like working, sleeping, smiling. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> kind of. I love you with all my heart, but you are probably the reason I'm dead. All right, you didn't kill me. Your mother did. She kept getting pregnant. I don't know how. Don't think about it. It'll give you the willies. At one point, I was afraid she got pregnant while she was pregnant. She was so fertile, I didn't even let her hold avocados. Anyway, this is a book all about what I observed being your dad when you were very young and I had some hair back in good old 2013. So why a book? Well, since you've come into my life, you've been a constant source of entertainment while simultaneously driving me crazy. I felt I had to write down my observations about you in a book, and also for money, so you could eat and continue to break things. By the way, I'm sorry I yelled so much and did that loud clapping thing with my hands. I hated when my dad would do the loud clapping thing with his hands, so every time I do the loud clapping thing, it pains me in many ways. Most of the pain is because that loud clapping thing actually hurts my hands. You may be wondering how I wrote this book. From a very early age, you all instinctively knew I wasn't that bright of a guy. Probably from all the times you had to correct me when I couldn't read all the words in The Cat in the Hat. Hell, I find writing emails a chore. Thank you, Spellcheck. <laughs> I wrote this book with the help of many people, but mostly your mother. Your mother is not only the only woman I've ever loved, but also the funniest person I know. When your mom was not in labor yelling at me, she made me laugh so hard. Love, Dad. P.S. How did you get that hula hoop into that restaurant Easter 2011? Who's who in the cast? Jim Gaffigan. Dad. Jim feels honored to be playing the title role of Dad. Prior to being cast in Dad is Fat, Mr. Gaffigan also had the title role in the long-running show Mediocre Uncle. He is thrilled to be given this opportunity to work with the fine cast of Dad is Fat. He has virtually no training, skills, or instincts on how to play this role. New York Times. Jeannie Noth Gaffigan. Mom, director, producer, costume, hair and makeup design, casting director, technical director, catering, music and lyrics, usher, choreographer, additional music and lyrics. Miss Noth Gaffigan also coaches Jim Gaffigan in the role of dad. Mari Gaffigan, oldest, ensemble, founding member of Dad is Fat Company. Miss Gaffigan is an eight-year-old third grader and an amazing dancer. Off-Broadway, I once had my own bed. Jack Gaffigan. First son, ensemble, sound design, and special effects. Jack was last seen in yelling for no reason at all. He is six and would like to thank God for his incredible good looks, which earned him the leading role in the hit show I'm Too Cute to Punish. Katie Gaffigan. Middle child, ensemble. Katie is three years old and was the inspiration for the song You Are My Sunshine. She would like to thank the creators of Scooby Doo and the color green. Michael Gaffigan, Gateway Baby Ensemble. Michael is a one-year-old and has been dazzling audiences since his 2011 debut. He would like to thank everyone who encouraged him to pursue his childhood dream of playing with a ball. Patrick Gaffigan, Newborn Ensemble. Patrick is the newest cast member, a truly tireless performer. He has been with the company for only weeks, but has already won the award for Most Colicky Newborn, 2012. Setting. Present day, a tiny, crowded, two-bedroom apartment on the Bowery in downtown Manhattan. There will be no intermission, ever. 